Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. This video is going to be opening up some crystals, basically because I'm kind of like trying to chill this weekend and do a lot of writing for content. I want to hit hard next week and going into April. I am doing a crystal opening. So we're going to do a load of max signatures, ultimate crystals, and as well just getting rid of some stuff and hopefully ending with a legendary piece of luck. That's what we want. That's what hopefully we'll see and we'll take it from there. So it's kicking things off. We're going to pop open straight nine ultimates. I'm hoping at least four of those are five, four of those are four stars. Blech. And we've got one new three star. Yeah, three star Doctor Doom. Uh, unfortunately, didn't meet the cut. I was hoping for four. I only got three. But obviously, this is going to add up to the max signatures at the end of it. So fingers crossed for that. Just obviously pop and open nine as you do. Don't want to waste too much time. Want to get through these crystals. I want to clear out my stocks. One thing I did want to do as well is uh, just mention I am going to a petting, well I've gone to a petting zoo on a Friday with all this kind of like nonsense in the world going on. I was like, I need to do something fun. So hopefully it's a case we have gone and myself and Em have obviously just gone, let's go. And you just get to like pet little kind of like um, goats and hold little pigs. And it's meant to be like, an, I live in a very kind of rural place. So you like live in the middle of nowhere. Yes, there are farms about. Everywhere I look out the window, there's farms. It's very, very relaxing. I must, uh, you know, once all this kind of stuff is over, I must admit, come to... Um, uh, just picking up Dr. Doom's left, right and centre. I've got the five-star version. I don't, need, I don't need anything more than that. I've got the five-star. I mean, yeah, six-star version would be great. Is it going to happen? No. We'll pick up 99. But yeah, like Devon in uh, the UK, southwest of the UK... It's a nice place to be, nice place to go, it's lovely places. Obviously tourism is gonna be important once these kind of like, this situation's gone. You know, take holidays and that, um, you know, when it's all over, but at the moment obviously, hope people are staying safe. And remember, if you've got symptoms, stay away for two weeks. Uh, mad love to people in Italy, because I know that at this moment in time, it isn't exactly brilliant, and obviously quarantining is, is very, very important at the moment. Uh, seeing some of the reports is like, oh, it's crazy. So, um, buongiorno to, uh, I'm trying to think of some of my Italian, l'ascensore e primo piano, that's pretty much it uh, that I can remember from my uh, Italian that I learned a long time ago. It's kind of like DVD, not DVD, CD I put in my car when I used to go to the, like manage this company and it was always kind of interesting to kind of learn those words not that I remember any of them not remember um, but yeah by the end of this video we're going to be opening up some nice stuff as well but let's do the max signatures because I want to clear house with a lot of this stuff because I've got just got a load of them clogging like 73 there just clogging uh, I've also got the lower the kind of the the kind of the runt of the little ones somewhere uh, do, yeah, like, Kabam needs to sort this out. Guys, like, Kabam, sorting out the crystal thing, so they're all kind of, like, in order and next to one another, because I'm just, like, going through, like, I don't know where my crystals be at, man. They'll, like, be up here, and then they're, like, all down there. So, yeah, just, like, popping open, like, hundreds and hundreds of these. Now, I do like, I do not turn my nose up at premium crystals, and obviously, if you've seen Friday's video, then you'll know I did uh, some then. Uh, I know that you can get some really nice amount of stuff that stacks up over time. With Marvel Contest of Champions, you've got to be in it for the long game. And the long game will be to get to this point where you just get max signatures. Because look, you know, what am I going to pick up now? I've got 10,000 three-star shards, which is obviously going to mean for five of the lovely ones here. And uh, just pop them open quickly. Five there. Yeah, just like more max signatures before we get into the next part of the video, which is how many max signatures? Two. So not a huge amount, but still, you know, it's it's all about it's all about perspective. It's all about that accumulation. Uh, why have I gone out of there? I don't want to go out there. Let's go on with the max signatures. More. Uh, we've got seventy-five there. Let's do seventy-five. Pop them open, and then we're gonna get some lovely stuff, man. I'm hoping I get a five star out of this legendary crystal because I, I really want a bit of luck. I got a Grand Master piece of luck on Friday, as you would have seen if you watched the video. I think that uh, I'm, am I going to be riding my luck into next week? And by the way, next Friday, so the last Friday of the month, the 27th, I'm going to be doing, fingers crossed, it does depend on a lot of factors. Like, now that I hear that Alliance Wars season rewards are coming in late, that could really benefit, benefit, jeopardize that video. 
And if it's going to be a case, I'll, I'll either do like a th uh, three six stars and a Cavalier Crystal opening. How about that? If Kabam haven't done their bit, but we'll have to see what happens with that. I probably not a massive fan of doing Terex Crystals if I was to do Cavaliers, but you know, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, if I could get three decent six stars that are going to help me towards my next endeavor and my next grind, because let's face it, at the end of the day, I've got resources I want to spend, but it is weird to kind of spend it and then think, right, well, there's something better around the corner with those six stars. One thing I've done is I've lined up a five star ready. If we do not get the luck when it comes to this legendary crystal, which let's face it, I'm getting a four star. It's an 80-20 split, but you know, for the video's sake, well, you know, might as well do it, you know. Grandmaster crystal luck has recently been a thing for me. So is it a case that I could pick up a five star now? Let's have a look. It's spinning, loads of fives, loads of fours, and it's going to land on a four. Of course it will. Yes, it went in for a sandwich between two of those ruddy champions there. God damn it. But still, I'm all about spending on my crystals at the moment because I want to just make sure that, again, I've got these rank up materials. If I go, right, well, on the current roster strength now, I'm going to rank up. Then I do a crystal and I'm like... Oh, that's a better champion, or I awaken a certain champion. Then you again, you go back to that theory of just going, well, I just ranked up something which now is better in for another champion elsewhere based on the awakening. So look, you know, always do that. Open up your crystals first. Do you rank up second? I know that Legacy did something with his Killmong. I think it was his Killmonger, and then there was something that happened with it. No, that's it. Use awakening gem on his killmonger and then when ended up like awakening him with a crystal so open your crystals first rank up and use gem second that's my top tip for anybody considering ranking up a champion and as promised because we did not get the luck rich the man is going for something good from this five star basic now i've got hyperion i do need heimdall for synergies and uh oh stealthy would be quite good as well um I'm just trying to think of any other champions that I really require and really need. I've probably forgotten a load that I need. Something that may be new. Aegon. My mind honestly has gone blank. Yeah, like Aegon, it would be difficult for the Awakening gem. But look, let's face it, next month we'll have a variant. There's plenty of opportunities somewhere down the line to get a 5-star Awakening gem. So, let's hope for something good. Please be something good. And... I don't, oh my god, I, I just, what the hell, man? What the hell? What the actual flip? Man, I got it, I've got to, uh, I, what the heck? That's the second time. Last time I went Hyperion, I said, oh, we're well, Hyperion. My luck has been ridiculous with five star basics at the moment. I've gone through this massive drought of getting terrible champions, and I'm like, how? How? For me going, oh yeah, I want to get Aegon. Oh yeah, here's Aegon. My word, what is going on? My five-star basic luck. That was, that was very much unexpected. But, you know, look, my uh, if you've seen some of my recent five-star videos, you'll be, be like, okay, so the luck has obviously been there for him. We did the St. Patrick's Day, luck of the Irish. Man, the luck of the Irish has obviously gone on to me. A bit too much there because I've got a bit Irish myself. But yeah, this is really exciting for the future of my roster. Yes, it's not awakened. But now, like, it does come to this point where I've got the six-star version and I've got the five-star version. Are there any of them awakened? Nah. But look, you know, next week is another week and you just don't know what could really happen. Jesus, man. Look, so I've got I've got the six-star there. Like, this, well, behind my head. Sorry, behind my head. There. And as well, I have got the, um, the five-star version now. Which, yeah, I, I, I can't believe that. That's been such a long time without this this champion. It, it helps, it helps. It's a start because then if I get a, say I do some content, I get a skill awakening gem, then bang on the five star and then let's just get some, you know, content done and scale up some combos. Um, yeah. Oh, man. I honestly, can't believe it. Chuffed to bits with this. Absolutely chuffed to bits with my luck. Well, hot damn, I'm absolutely made up about that one. I was looking to see whether or not the champion is actually on the t-shirt, but I can't actually see him there. I see most other champions, but he doesn't seem to be one of them. But either way, lucky shirt now, so uh, hey, we'll, uh, we'll take it. 
And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Check out some other content up there and down there as well. I appreciate you for the support on the channel. Obviously, keep safe wherever you are. Much love and see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.